Solid Fuel Duct Ramjet is a missile propulsion system based on the ramjet engine principle, using atmospheric oxygen for combustion. This allows for a lighter and more efficient missile design. Traditional air-to-air -air missiles like the AMROM require oxygen to enable the combustion of their fuel. They often operate at high altitudes, while ballistic missiles operate in space where atmospheric oxygen is unavailable, requiring them to carry their own oxidizer to sustain combustion. India currently operates or has operated several air-to-air -air missiles from Russia and has its own systems like the Astra. It also operates the European Meteor missiles on its Rafale jets. However, India required its own SFDR missiles to reduce dependency and ensure compatibility with its diverse fighter aircraft. Having already gained experience in liquid fuel ramjet engines like the Brahmos, India started working on a solid fuel missile for air to air engagements. Now, India has unveiled its new SFDR missile, the Astra Mark III, also known as Gandiva. SFDR-based missiles are not designed for space but operate at high altitudes, typically 20 to 30 kilometers, where some oxygen is still available. At these altitudes, there is enough oxygen for combustion, though less than at sea level. At launch, the missile uses a solid fuel booster, which does not need atmospheric oxygen and functions like a standard rocket. This booster propels the missile to supersonic speeds, where the ramjet can start working. These missiles require a certain amount of atmospheric oxygen to function efficiently. Gandiva's operating altitude, typically 10 to 30 kilometers, is carefully chosen to ensure sufficient air for combustion. The hot gas flow controller adjusts how much fuel is burned based on available oxygen. The missiles have large air intakes designed to maximize oxygen intake even at high altitudes. These intakes compress the incoming air, increasing oxygen density before combustion. At higher altitudes where air is thinner, it burns fuel more efficiently rather than wasting it. Why the Astra Mark III is extremely dangerous for fighter jets, including fifth-gen fighters. SFDR missiles operate at sustained supersonic speeds, unlike traditional solid fuel missiles that slow down after burnout. They can also perform high-G maneuvers due to thrust modulation, making evasion much harder. Additionally, they keep accelerating even in the terminal phase. Since the missile does not require an onboard oxidizer, it can carry more fuel or a larger warhead. Moreover, they do not follow predictable paths, making them harder to intercept. Modern missiles rely on active radar or infrared seekers. Jamming their guidance system can cause them to miss. However, advanced SFDR missiles may have dual-mode seekers, making them resistant to jamming. If an aircraft can stay undetected or deploy effective infrared and radar decoys, it might fool an incoming SFDR missile. However, if the missile has advanced electronic countermeasures, decoys may be ineffective. Gondiva can be fired before locking onto a target. With a range of 300 plus kilometers, it can be launched from beyond an enemy's radar detection range and receive updates mid-flight from the launching aircraft or airborne warning and control system. Traditional missiles have a large no-escape zone, but Gandiva's NEZ is far larger, meaning even highly maneuverable jets like the F-22 or Su-57 would struggle to escape. However, if the missile cannot lock onto them early, they have a better chance of escaping. Traditional missiles use preset burn profiles and must predict target movement. In contrast, Gandiva's thrust modulation allows it to adjust power in real time, providing more flexibility in engagements. It can use multiple guidance modes like radar, infrared, and data link to avoid being jammed. Some fighters may attempt a high-speed dive to break the missile lock. Flying close to the ground might also work, but only in certain environments like mountains and canyons. Most 4th and 5th generation fighter jets have a service ceiling of around 50,000 to 65,000 feet. Even the highest flying fighter, the MiG-25 Foxbat, could only reach 121,000 feet, but at that altitude, it had almost no maneuverability and could only fly in a straight line.
Gandiva's SFDR engine works efficiently up to 30 kilometers, but the missile does not stop working beyond that. It can still coast or glide toward its target using its momentum. Even if a fighter jet starts climbing higher, it might slow down and lose energy, making it easier for the missile to intercept. Gandiva's long range allows a stealth fighter to engage enemies from extreme standoff distances, reducing the need to break stealth by getting too close. Fifth-gen fighters are highly maneuverable and can take advantage of high off bore sight missile launches, making them more lethal in dogfights. Gandiva is highly likely to have high off bore sight capability, since its SFDR sustainer maintains high speed throughout flight, allowing it to perform high G turns even at long distances. This is essential for Hobbs engagements, where a missile may need to turn sharply towards a target that isn't directly in front of the launch aircraft. If Gondiva supports lock-on after launch, a fifth-gen fighter like AMCA could fire it even without an initial radar lock, allowing for advanced Hobbs tactics. This makes it deadlier in close-range dogfights, even against stealth fighters. Fifth-gen jets use sensor fusion and data linking to detect threats at long range. A stealth fighter can use Gondiva in a launch and leave mode, where another aircraft like AWACS, a wingman, or a friendly fighter, updates the missile's target data mid-flight. If AMCA has supercruising capability, Gondiva gets an extra energy boost, improving range and impact speed. Gondiva is a game-changer for 5th-gen fighters because it enhances their stealth, supercruise, and networked warfare capabilities. While 4th and 4.5-gen fighters can still use it effectively, they won't be able to maximize its full potential due to higher detectability and limited networking features.